Daddy always talked about the importance of the next generation. He understood that youth is the transformative force in the world, and he thought the world needed to be changed. You know, John Lewis and Daddy were very, very close. They, they were two men who admired each other. They came from very different places, but they saw in each other a shared vision for our country. Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights wouldn't be what it is today without John Lewis. And I couldn't be more proud than that we are naming the Young Leaders Program after one of the greatest young leaders in the history of the United States, John Lewis. He believed in young people in this country could change because he was young and he organized young people and they were able to make a difference in this country. We're here today in Los Angeles with our John Lewis Young Leaders for a retreat, bringing all of our students across 16 chapters to not only educate them on human rights issues, they can educate each other on human rights issues, understand what it means to be an organizer, and understand that their role to affect change is, is there, and that they don't have to wait, they can affect change now. It's not just about building your capacity, learning more about organizing. I think it's about creating safe spaces for young people to be able to come together and talk about the things that are important to them. This is my first time coming here, so I wasn't really expecting much, but just kind of being around people with similar interests and similar backgrounds, I feel more welcomed. And this is kind of unique to me because being from a place where I don't oftentimes find that, I just kind of felt welcomed by everybody else. My group has not done a trip all together, and this has been a, such a great time for us to like bond and get to know each other on like a deeper level, and also allow us to take some of the knowledge from not only the panelists, but also the team that put this together on how to actually run events like this back home to engage our community. Our Young Leaders Program started in 2018, and it's really our only program that focuses on working with college students. We primarily work with institutions, like community colleges, HBCUs, HSIs, um, minority-serving institutions. A large portion of our students come from those demographics. They are from the LGBTQ community, they are immigrants, they are first-generation college students. This group of young leaders are committed to creating concrete change on their college campuses and within their communities. Young Leaders is different from any organization on my campus uh, because you have an opportunity to engage with um, people from all around the world, from different backgrounds. It's not adding to your load. If you are already involved in your community, all you're doing is taking the resources that the Young Leaders program is giving to you and amplifying that within your community. And I feel like we can use our voices to help people all across the world, all walks of life. You know, you have an opportunity to make a difference uh, in your lives, in your family lives, in the lives of this country. Verizon is so proud to be a sponsor of the John Lewis Young Leaders Program and to help bring leaders and solutions to some of the pressing problems in our society. Because after all, all of us should be busy trying to determine how to be a participant in good trouble. This program is looking for the person who's most likely to be disruptive, who's going to create change, who's going to make that campus, that community more just, more peaceful, more full of love, more reflective of the life and vision of John Lewis and of Robert Kennedy, more connected with social justice.